In this video for Gear TV, we're going to show you how to use an iPad with an Apple Magic trackpad. We will show you what works well and what doesn't work well. We found the trackpad works with every application we tried it with. Here we are using the trackpad with the Pages app, and the trackpad in conjunction with the keyboard dramatically increases productivity because you're able to keep your hands in the typing position for most tasks. Switching over to an application like Flipboard where you don't use a keyboard doesn't make quite as much sense unless you're using the iPad while sitting at a desk. Then it is much more natural. We really like using the keyboard and the trackpad when using Safari to surf the internet, especially if you are typing in search text. One thing to point out is that the trackpad, as of the time of this video, does not support multi-touch gestures. For example, in the Photos app, using pinch to zoom in and out does not work. So, how do you set up your iPad to work with the Magic Trackpad? Well, unfortunately, Apple doesn't support this, so you have to jailbreak your iPad. Thankfully, jailbreaking your iPad, despite the scary name, is really straightforward. This video won't cover jailbreaking as there are already numerous videos that cover that. And the method to do it depends on what device you have and what version of iOS you are using. Once you do have the device jailbroken, you're going to want to use the City app to download BT Stack. BT Stack replaces the built-in Bluetooth stack in iOS. And so in settings, do not be alarmed when you see that Bluetooth is unavailable and turned off. In Settings, scroll down to Extensions and click on the BT Stack extension. You will see that BT Stack is the currently enabled Bluetooth solution. If it is not, enable it. You will also need to use the Cydia app to download BT Mouse. It is a free application and this is what allows the trackpad to work with your iPad. In the settings for this app, you can adjust the scroll speed, etc. for the trackpad. The BT Mouse application creates an icon and you use this to pair your iPad with the trackpad and establish the connection. If you want to use a wireless keyboard with your iPad, use Cydia to download the BT Keyboard app. So there you have it. It is pretty easy to get a wireless keyboard and tracking pad to work with your iPad and results in a solution that increases productivity for many of the apps. Be sure to check out our website at gear-tv.com for over 50,000 product videos on your favorite gadgets, consumer electronics, and sporting goods equipment. And visit GearBuyer.com for the best deals, product reviews, buying guides, and more to help you make informed decisions on your next product purchase.